out of today. All right, did you talk to Tim Connolly? I know you wrote a lot about him and had quotes. I'm guessing that you did talk to him. Yeah, I did. Uh, it was kind of funny because it was an optional, and for some reason, it was, uh, they were done with their practice, but I was in the Zamboni entrance, and I started walking away, and there he was leaving. And I just said, Tim, aren't you talking today? And he goes, well, where have you been? Like, where have I been? I, I can't just walk into your dressing room, but I would go, well, would you mind talking right now? So we basically talked to him right next to the door as he was walking out. And, uh, you know, it was typical Tim Connolly, just basically answering your questions, not saying anything of real substance, not uh, saying anything that uh, is good. I even asked him about what his agent has said, because his agent ripped the Buffalo media for having a vendetta against him. And, and, you know, when he had signed with Toronto and not understanding him and, and all that kind of thing. And I said, how do you feel about that? I said, you're an agent at his day. Did you feel you were treated fairly? And that's when he said, he goes, quite honestly, he goes, I learned at a young age. I stopped listening to your radio shows and reading. He said, I, you know, I, I made the mistake of doing that then, and I just, I don't read it now because it's, he, there's just no point in it. So uh, he, he claims he really didn't know what was being said about him, but uh, I have heard through other sources differently. Paul, how um, how significant was it to you that he didn't visit with any of his former teammates today? I thought that was a bit weird because I, I've never seen that. Any former teammates that have played here for a while usually will come over and say hello to the guys. who already skated when well, you're going to do it, yeah. and especially since you didn't skate. So you can talk to the Sabres if they're leaving or that type of thing, and usually that is done, but uh, he said, no, didn't talk to anybody. I just came in, did my thing, got ready, getting ready for the game, and left. Okay. You know, I, I don't know how relevant that is or not, but I, I, I'm sure it's probably happened at some point. I don't know if Slava Kozlov got warm and fuzzy with everybody when he came back, but, um, you know, I, I just haven't seen too much of it. What, how popular in your in your mind was was he uh, with uh, with his teammates? There were some guys that defended them to the hilt. I know Craig Rave was one of them. I know Ryan Miller was one of them. Uh, Lindy Ruff has always been one that uh, really defended him and talked about what a leader he is inside the room. You know, when doors are closed and none of us are there. And um, but uh, I, I think there was also a faction there that uh, you know didn't couldn't much didn't much care for him either. And uh, so I, I, I think it was split. But I think the people that did like him defended him staunchly. Well, I think it it has to be uh, said that it's worked out well so far for Toronto. He, he's missed some games. He's played about the same percentage of their games as Patrick Coletta has played uh, of Sabre games this year. But 15 points in 18 and the winning goal the other night, Con Connolly's done all right. Yeah, but as I look at it, uh, I think it's basically the same thing you saw with Buffalo, where he would get points in bunches. I mean, he doesn't have an assist in six games. The goals he scored the other night were his first goals in seven games. Uh, so he's gone, gone, gone kind of dry for them, and that's what he does. I mean, you remember he would go on these streaks with Buffalo. But I'm very, very interested to see how he handles the power play. He was a, a turnover machine on the power play with the Sabres last year, and really, I thought the only value he had to the team was on the penalty kill, which I thought he was just phenomenal at. That I agree with Lindy Webb 100%, but other than that, five on five, he got nothing out of him, and then the power play, I, I, I was to the point I wanted him to take him off the power play, he was so bad, so um, on that, I would disagree with him. Well, we didn't talk about the Lino injury very much uh, the day before last when you were on with us. What's the significance of it to the team? No, we don't. Uh, I haven't heard any more yet about uh, you know what may be wrong with him, but uh, it's a shame only from the standpoint that he at least started to be getting it a little bit, and you, you would just like to see him build on that and see where it will lead us, but uh, we're not going to see that. He's going to be out, and he's going to basically have to start all over whenever a whole week are up. So I don't know if weeks turns into months or, or whatever, but it's not going to be uh, before the Christmas obviously, or probably before the holidays are even over, that we're going to see him back. But yeah, I think it is a shame that you're finally starting to see him 
like Ryan Miller, I'll, I'll just leave you guys alone. It's more complicated than that. If you just asked anything, I was ready with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Paul. Enjoy your night. You too. Take care. Paul Hamilton. He does have quite a write-up on Connolly on our website, WGR550.com. Rob Ray is here making faces at us, so we remember to mention that Rob will be out in like 20 minutes. Yeah, he's, he's here. Well, he had to make up for the other day. He was running running behind uh, on uh, Tuesday, I think it was, so he got here nice and early now. Maybe he'll do a little shopping at the Sabre store while he has some extra time. He could do that. There is one thing in there I'm eyeing.